Hi everyone, and welcome to Kids Time Today. I'm so glad that you're here to join me. David's even gonna join us a little bit later. Well, this summer, we've been talking a lot about prayer. We have looked at many different stories in the Bible of times when people prayed to God. We looked at stories when sometimes people were praying because they were asking God for help. They were asking God to do something or to change something or to provide for them. There were other times that we saw people in the Bible praying because they wanted to celebrate all of the wonderful things that God had done in their lives. I know sometimes I worry that when I'm praying, I'm not always saying the right words, but there's good news. God doesn't need us to use the right words when we're praying. He doesn't need us to use the big words or the clever words. He just wants us to talk to him. And we also learned many weeks ago from Marco that Jesus even taught his people how to pray using the words of the Lord's Prayer. How about before we get started today, we say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Well, hello. We just heard from Carolyn the Lord's Prayer, Jesus teaching his disciples how to pray. But did you know that Jesus also prays for us in the Bible? For you and for me. We can read about it in John chapter 17. Jesus says, My prayer is not for them alone, for the disciples. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message. So what does he pray for us? He says, May they be brought to complete unity, to let the world know that you sent me and have loved them, even as you have loved me. So Jesus is praying to the Father, and he prays for us as Christians to have unity, to be together. Well, what is unity? Well, unity is kind of like teamwork, when you're all working together or coming together to create something new, something better than each of us just individually. Well, we as Christians are meant to come together to do just that. Well, what are we supposed to create? What are we supposed to work together to do? It's to let the world know that you sent me. We're supposed to work together so that the whole world knows that the Father sent Jesus into the world. And this is also that the world might know how much they are loved by God. That's why we're doing this. So that's Jesus' prayer for us, for you and for me, that we would be able to work together on the same team so that we'd be able to help the whole world know that God loves them. That's Jesus' prayer for you and I. So let's take a, take a moment and we're going to do an activity together and we're going to see what unity kind of looks like. This activity helps to demonstrate unity. You will need a small amount of hot water, but not too hot that you burn yourself. You might want to ask a parent to help you get the water. You'll also need a plate and some Skittles. Yum! First, arrange the Skittles around the edge of the plate. We made a pattern with different colors of Skittles, but you can arrange them however you like. The Skittles represent the people, each one special and unique. Next, slowly pour the hot water in the center of the plate. You'll want to pour enough water so the water covers the bottom of the plate. Be gentle so that you don't knock the Skittles out of place. The water represents God, 
and the Holy Spirit working in us. Now watch and you will see how the people of God come together and are united. Imagine how we could show God's love to the world if we all work together as one family with God. Maybe you could pray for your family, friends, someone you've just met, or even people you don't know yet. Pray that they would learn to love God and that they would be a part of his family too. Well, it looks like we've got a few Skittles left over. What do you think we should do with these Skittles? <laughs>